When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Character Maps 2, where we're going to further explore character maps. We'll look at symbols, accent marks, and foreign languages. If you need to review character maps, go back and look at the video character maps. We'll go down to the start menu, type in character maps in the search box. And when it comes up at the top, this time we're going to go ahead and right mouse click on character maps. And we're going to pin it or the start menu. We'll show you later. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the character maps. Once character maps is open, we'll take it. A little closer look down at the bottom and we'll see a little box that says advanced view click on that and it opens up additional information on the bottom and let's go up and select one of the icons now look down at the bottom you'll see an explanation of what that icon is if you click on various icons you'll see that that changes down below each one of them has a little description that tells you what it is and in some instances it tells you this it's Latin or continue on down here more Latin and then Cyrillic and continue on down you'll find a majority of the foreign language letters have a explanation down at the bottom if you wanted to use these letters in writing a foreign language letter or memo we have a feature called search it's right above there and there you can look up languages for latin greek cyrillic hebrew and arabic now there are other languages that can be added to character map but it's well beyond the scope of this particular video Let's go ahead and type in the search box the word Latin and hit the search and then you'll see that all of the icons on your sheet are the Latin language. Now if you scroll down you'll find out there's quite a few of them actually. Now once you want to clear that hit the reset button it takes you back and if you want to take and look for a different language type in something like Greek and hit the search. And then all these symbols on your character map will be the Greek letters that are available on character map. You can use the same search feature to find any of the languages I have pointed out in that last little slide. Now let's take a look at another feature that may be very handy in character map. Let's go back to the basic character map and let's pick out the copyright symbol. Here it is. Now look down at the very, very bottom right hand corner. You'll see where it says keystroke alt plus 0169. This is a keystroke combination that you can type in without having to open up character map. If you click on other symbols in character map, you'll notice down in the bottom the keystroke changes and that each of the symbols have their own individual alt code. This is very useful when you're typing a letter in a foreign language. Now let's look at how you actually use the Alt Plus code. First of all, you have to turn on the Num Lock or Numbers Lock key on your keypad. Next, you have to hold down the Alt key and then on the keypad, type in the one to four numbers. The Num Lock key on this keyboard is located over by the keypad. All you do is touch it. Now, if you want to check it, you can go ahead and type in a Word document. On some keyboards, there actually is a little blue or green light that indicates that the numlocks are on. In this case, the blue light's up the top. 
Other instances, the light is actually on the numlock key itself. It works the same way. You just press it down and activate the numlock. Remember to enter the alt code. You hold down the alt key and you type in the one to four digits. Uh, Character Mac actually has over 350 codes embedded in its character map. If you have a laptop that does not have a keypad, uh, they say to hold down the FN key or function key. Here's a list of the common alt codes that I use. The list includes foreign currency, the copyright sign, the register sign, and some fractions. Now let's take a look at actually using the alt code and inserting it. If you watched my video character map, you will remember, are you having a good time? We translated it into Spanish using the character map to insert the accent marks. This time we'll use the alt code by holding down the alt key and typing in 0191 on the keypad. That automatically puts in the upside down question mark. And then we'll start typing the rest of it until we get to the next accent mark. And that happens to be another alt code, alt 0225. We're going to go ahead and on the keyboard hold down the Alt key, type in 0225, and we have the accent mark. Now we just continue typing as we would regularly. If you write a lot of letters in a foreign language with accent marks, I would use Character Map to find the Alt code equivalents, make a list of them, and write them down. Now here are some Alt codes that you won't find on the Character Maps. Alt-1, a smiley face, Alt-2, Alt-3, a heart, diamond, club, spade. You could even find musical notes, the sun symbol, additional foreign currency marks, and others. I hope this gives you a good working knowledge of how to use the alt codes instead of going to the character maps. Now I'd like to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of how to use these. Let's go back to our desktop, hit our Win key. It takes us to the Start window, where you'll see where we placed the character map icon on the Start menu. We click on that to open it up. Now, on Copyright Symbol, we go up and we select a Copyright Symbol. We go down below and we press the select key, that places it in the place to copy, and we hit the copy. Now we go back to our Word document and control V to paste it in. That's how we accomplished it in the original character map video. Now let's go down and find the alt key down at the very bottom, right hand corner, and we'll type it in. We have to hold down the alt key with one finger and we'll type in the alt code alt0169 and then release it. You notice it's slightly different, but it's still the same thing. Now, I want to show you a third alternative that we haven't talked about before. In Microsoft Word program, if you type in open parentheses, the letter C, and close parentheses, it will automatically create the copyright symbol for you. Now, let's go down to register symbol. We can copy, and we can paste it into the document like we did on the original video. Copy V to paste it in. Now the second alternative is to go back to the character map, look down at the very bottom and just find the Alt key combination. And we're going to go ahead and type in Alt 0174 and that places it in. And again, Microsoft Word's unique. If you put in the open parentheses, the letter R, and the close parentheses, it'll do exactly the same thing. Now, the trademark symbol is something that I couldn't find on Character Map, but Microsoft Word, open parentheses, small tm, close parentheses, and then you have the trademark symbol. Now that you know more about the Character Map, I hope you utilize this in your everyday computer tasks. 
utilize it to get those accent marks, those special symbols, and just spice up your documents. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope you get some good use out of it. If you like these videos, please subscribe. My YouTube channel is free. Enjoy this video? Click on the like button below. Leave a comment below to help me improve, or tell me what you'd like to see me in a future video. Remember, our generation invented the shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.